been a long time but welcome to another episode of the dental review guy i'm going to talk about something which a lot of you have been asking me about but there's a reason i did not review this much sooner and what are we talking about today let's talk about loops okay and you know we've spoken about loops quite a bit in the past and today i'm going to be talking about the design so vision 4.5x expanded field panoramic loops now these are what you would consider maybe one of the top of the line loops you could possibly get now i got these loops actually 2 years ago and in 2 years i didn't review it because i wasn't comfortable reviewing it until this point okay so let's talk about everything there is firstly let's go back to my old loops these were the 3.5x design so vision these are galilean they're not prismatic so they're not so heavy they're actually very light very sporty i still love these loops and i just thought i needed an upgrade with a little bit more magnification now that's where these guys come in so these are the 4.5x expanded field loops and uh, this gives you a really panoramic view but there is a couple of trade offs when you talk about the expanded field and the panoramic and the 4.5x and the fact that it's prismatic and not galilean so one of the issues is the weight it is a very very heavy pair of loops and it does take some getting used to um and what happened was i bought this during the pandemic and during the pandemic we had those n95 masks on which would cover the entire face and because it covered the entire face i would not really feel the weight of the nose pads on the mask or on my nose because there is the n95 mask in between the loops and my face and then you know the pandemic it reduced in intensity and so we went back to a regular surgical mask and then when i started wearing these masks i then started to have a problem because the nose pads started to press down right over here and create a lot of force and it was extremely uncomfortable to wear so much so that i just stopped wearing it for about 4 or 5 months until i decided you know it's probably the right time to talk to customer service what you're seeing here is actually this is a cover on the original nose pad so the original nose pad actually is much smaller and this is like a silicone cover which is fitted over the original nose pad and once i did this this made all the difference for uh comfort so even though i was using a regular surgical mask once i fitted these silicone uh covers over the existing nose pad that actually gave me a lot of comfort and i did not feel the force over here Design so vision if you're listening I think you should make those silicone nose pads default with every purchase because it's really not easy to use loops which are this heavy without using those silicone nose pads. So I had alluded to earlier about the weight. So it is quite heavy and it is not possible to use these loops without a lanyard. You have to have a lanyard over here so that you have something to tie in the back when you put these loops on because if you just put these loops on without anything and you tilt it down because of the weight the loops are going to fall. So you must have that security in the back to tie it against the back of your head so that it stays in place while you're working with it. So one of the biggest differences between the new pair and my old pair over here is the magnification. Of course, this was a 3.5x and that's a 4.5x. And so it is a lot closer, it's a lot more magnification, but I think the better or the reason why I prefer the newer loops nowadays is because it also is the expanded field or the panoramic view. Because of that panoramic view, what happens is I'm able to see a lot more of the field which I'm working in. whereas if it was just a regular 4.5x i would probably end up seeing less than a 3.5x because you're kind of more zoomed in when as you increase the magnification so with my old pair i tended to avoid these when i was doing surgery because in surgery you need a little bit of a wider field of view rather than in prosthetics where you know you're prepping a single tooth and you just need to see that margin very close up but surgery you know you need to reflect flaps you need to suture all of those things would make me avoid the old pair but because of the expanded uh field of view in the new pair i'm able to really um use it for surgery without too much difficulty so overall i'm liking the new loops better but let's talk about the light okay so i am still using my old design so vision nano light 
and this one is something which I preferred and I did test out their newer model which is called the daylight model and I did find a couple of issues with it. The reason why I stuck to the older light was I found that the newer light was a little bit more yellow. The old model which is the nano light seemed to be, at least to me, it seemed to be a little bit whiter in terms of color, the color temperature, whereas the uh, newer light is a little bit more warm and appeared more yellow and I found that a little distracting to work with. A second big difference is the battery pack. This is the old battery pack for the nano light. This one I like a lot more. It's a little more compact. The newer one is a little bit taller and a little bit skinnier. But the big difference here is this button over here which is a projection. You can very easily turn it on and off by just using your wrist. If it's on your belt you can just use your wrist over here and you can do that and you can turn it off without making any contact with your glove finger. I found that a little bit harder to do with the newer battery pack and the main issue for me was really coming back to it was that warm color. Now some of you may notice it, some of you may not notice it. Sadly the older uh, nano lights are no longer available and the older battery packs are no longer available with Design Supervision. So if you're investing in this system, you will have to stick to the new one but I strongly recommend that you try it out. Your mileage may vary, you may like it. I just didn't like the color of it too much and that's why I stuck with the old light. So besides that, can I recommend these loops which is the 4.5x Design Suvision Panoramic Extended Field Loops. Can I recommend it for a beginner? I would say absolutely not. These are not beginner loops, these are loops where you've used another pair for maybe two or three years, you've gotten used to them and you're trying to upgrade and you're trying to get something better. I would say this is for you. But if you're a beginner, stay away from these loops because it's going to make things very difficult for you. You're going to have a lot of strain trying to get used to these loops. Now, are these the lightest, most comfortable pair of loops? Also absolutely not. They are heavy, they are heavy for a reason and that's because they provide you with astounding clarity. They are extremely, extremely clear. You can see everything. There's nothing you're missing. But again, there are trade-offs. Like for example, this, this you cannot one hand and put it on. Yes, you can put it on, but now you need both hands free to tie it up in the back. And versus in the old pair, you didn't really need the lanyard. You could just put it on. And because it's kind of a stretchy, uh, frame you could bend down and it wouldn't fall down so that was a big difference you can't do this you can't do the new pair with one hand so a little bit of these trade-offs here and there um, and there is a learning curve the new pair definitely has a learning curve it really took me two years to make this video and and that tells you that you know there are certain adjustments and the higher you go in magnification the more you're looking at weight and the more you have to get used to it and it's something which you just have to stay persistent. A very important decision and I've spoken about this in earlier videos is when you're buying a pair of loops look at the customer service and I have to really commend the Design for Vision India team. This is represented by Modi Medicare. These guys have been fantastic because I had a whole slew of complaints and they attended to them one by one. So a real big shout out to them. I'm sure the other loop manufacturers are also great but make sure that you have customer service available in your city and especially for those first few months when you're still getting used to your loops you need to make sure that you are able to reach the company for that service and support which you need i'm going to close this video by saying something important i have met many dentists in my career and i've met a lot of dentists who don't wear loops who are excellent and also, I met a lot of dentists who don't wear loops who are also not so great. You can see that there is something lacking in their clinical skill. On the flip side, I've met a lot of dentists who wear loops and all of them are excellent. So if you are looking to get your work to an excellent standard, I highly recommend loops should be one of the first investments you make in yourself. Till the next time we meet, take care and have a nice day. This is the Dental Review Guy, signing off with a smile.